Hi, welcome to the middle of nowhere. And I'm here because I sold my Canon 50 and I got a replacement. This replacement doesn't have as good as autofocus as the Canon has. It doesn't have a flip screen and the sensor is smaller. And it also has a crop in 4K. Why the hell did I buy it? Well, let me tell you, but first, I gotta catch my train. I got a GX9. Let me tell you why. I'm back in the studio. It was two hours there and two hours back, which might not sound a lot to you, but in a small country like Israel, it's a lot. And I got a GX9 for this price in dollars because the price fluctuates with three batteries and a charger, which is an incredible deal. It was well worth the trip. Why Panasonic? Why not Canon? I wanted to get more into video using my GH5, but you see, the Canon 50 and the EFM mount is dead. Canon won't admit it because it wants to sell more cameras, but it's obvious its main focus right now is the RF mount, especially because there are full frame cameras in the RF mount. So I'm staying with Panasonic, especially since their lenses are small and their menu system is great. And speaking of lenses, I'm making a video, it will come out in a few weeks, about the best lenses for MFT, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see it. So why the GX9, which is worse on paper than the M50? Well, it starts with the screen. Many people rave about the flip out screen, especially in cameras like the GH5, which are great for vlogging yourself, but in a confined place like this, a studio, the screen isn't even facing me because it's so distracting. I'm only using it out there when I'm vlogging and it's just to see that I'm in frame or I'm in focus because the GH5 is notorious for that. So for photography, it isn't really great because the flip out screen is right here. It's off center to the lens. It's really hard to compose photographs and it's been my biggest gripe so far with the GH5. So a flip up screen is much better. It's dead center and because it flips up or down, I don't have any issues with top down or top up shots. It's just so convenient. And if I'll ever do vlogging with this camera, you can just take a look at the lens and you'll be dead center. That's it, you're not really composing your shots as a vlogger. You're only checking that the autofocus is okay. And speaking of autofocus, it has worse autofocus than the Canon 50, but let's talk about why I'm okay with it. The Canon 50 uses Canon's famous dual pixel autofocus, which uses face detect to detect subjects while Panasonic still uses contrast-based detect autofocus. Hopefully, face detect will come soon to MFT. But for now, this uses contrast-based detect autofocus. But we're usually talking about it for video, where it's crucial to track subjects, where it's usually the pitfall of Panasonic. But when it comes to photography, contrast-based detect autofocus is just as good as face detect, and you don't really need to track subjects, because I'm not really doing any sports photography, I'm just doing street photography, so... So far, for my usage, the autofocus here is superb, no issues there. And speaking of autofocus, if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up so more people will see it and it means the world to me because it pushes the video out to more people so you can also enjoy these small little cameras which is really a wonder. And now let's move on to the next thing which is actually 4K because this actually has a crop, like the Canon 50. So let's talk about it. The GX9 and the Canon 50 both have a crop in 4K, but the GX9 actually has an ace up its sleeve, it's autofocus, which doesn't exist in the Canon. Canon just uses contrast based detect autofocus in 4K, which is horrendous. It doesn't have its dual pixel autofocus. So the GX9 has its contrast based detect autofocus, which is tried and true by Panasonic for all these years. So in 4K, it focuses much better. And although it has a crop, over its 2x crop of MFT, it's really fine because I intend on using it for street photography and mainly B-roll of the city where a crop doesn't really matter and you won't really feel it. So just ask yourself what you're using your camera for and that's okay for me. I bought my GX9 mainly for photography because it's so lightweight and with these small MFT lenses, I can just take it in my bag with me each and every day. But I cannot deny the potential I have with my GH5 because it also has the same picture profiles as the GH5 and the same Panasonic colors, which means that I can actually use it as a secondary camera. And hopefully I'm in focus because I have no idea, my phone died so I can't really see. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it the old thumbs up and make sure to watch 
this video where I'm going out on protest, trying some GH5 JPEGs and hopefully nobody else beat me there because protests can be violent, but this one was really fun. So I'll see you next week. Bye!